Hey everybody, welcome to another class. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on uh, the continuation of the story, the petting zoo. If you haven't been here for the uh, other parts of the petting zoo, don't worry, it's okay. You can still come in, you'll still be able to learn new vocabulary, and you'll also be able to start to see the color of this story. It's a very colorful story. You can see some of the metaphors and different things that you have in there. So, okay, good. I'm looking forward to having you in class. Class is starting, so um, feel free to join. Hi, Orlando. Hello, Orlando. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? Doing well, doing well. Orlando, can you turn up your microphone slightly? Your microphone has a, uh, it's just a little faint. It's a little hard to hear. If you can turn it up, it'll be easier to hear you, okay? Yeah, can you make your microphone louder? Now? A little bit louder, please. More. <clears throat> yeah, more. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good, good, good. Very good. Where are you from, Orlando? I'm from, I'm from Spain. Ah, good. Fantastic, fantastic. Very good. Uh, we're at in Spain. Um, me, I'm from the United States. Ah, uh, cool. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but I, I've been I've been living in Asia for years. I've, I haven't lived in the U.S. for about ten years. So yeah, I'm still from the U.S. But is this your first time on Verbling, or have you uh, been here no. before? Uh, my first class, yes, but uh, after I uh, spoke <laughs> with other people. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, welcome to class. Welcome to class. <coughs> Hello, Sergio. You have a little cough? Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Morning, Furcon, afternoon, evening, or wherever. Where, where, are, you, where are you living today, Furcon? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, fantastic, fantastic, good. Borina, hello. Hi, how are you today? Doing well, doing well. How about you? Very well. It's good. almost Friday. <laughs> yes, that's right. Party time Friday. Good. good. Hello, teacher. <laughs> hello, student Dimitri. Hello. Yeah. Hey. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so good, good, good. <laughs> so let's see who else we have here. Kubra. Hello, Kubra. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Good, good. Hello. What's How's that? your day? My day is great. My, my, my day is just starting. I'm in Asia, so it's 5 o'clock in the morning here. So I have some green tea, and I'm ready to go. Ready to go. What's that, Dimitri? What was that last part? Is my mic okay? Oh yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh good, it's fine. Thanks. We, we just have to work on Juan. Hello, Juan. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? Hey. How's everything? Everything's perfect. How about you, my man? Everything. It's oh, it's hunky dory, teacher. Hunky dory. Okay. Um, whatever whatever English teacher taught you that, let me know so I can take a stick and beat him. Okay. No hunky dory is oh, okay. Can beat him. <laughs> so good, good, good. Okay, so let's see. Farana, hello, Farana. Hi, Farana. Don't be shy. I can see there's a little sound coming for you. Just say hello. Hello, teacher. Farana, I know you're being shy, but don't worry. I can see, I can see a little bit of sound coming from you, so you're not muted. Okay, so I'll give you some time. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let me make sure I get this name right. It's the worst thing in the world. I can't do this right. 
Elaine. Alan. Yeah. Elaine. That's good. Alan. That's good. Ay, 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 I'm, I'm the worst. <laughs> I am the worst. Anyway. That's fine. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. Good, <laughs> good to you? see you. I'm doing well. Doing well. Good to see you. So good. It's good. Easy. We have a lot of, a lot of really good students here, and all of you seem to be at the right level, which is great. I appreciate that. So let's just try Farana. Hello, Farana. Hi, Farana. Are you having connection Farana. issues? Farana is not there. What happened to Farana? Oh, looks like Ferrano left the class. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, fu it's funny how people, you know, like some, some students when they're in other classes and they don't talk, they kind of just sit in class. In my class, for some reason, they end up leaving when they don't talk. I, don't, I can't, can't figure it out. Hello, Yannicka or Yana. <clears throat> Yana's chewing gum. Check this out. She's like a million miles a minute. I'm chewing gum like crazy. <laughs> Yana, whoa. <laughs> Jesus, like a horse. Yana, Yana, stop chewing gum for a second. Look up. Yeah, yeah, stop. No, 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 just slow down. Slow down. It's okay, Yana. Yep. <laughs> Yana, say something, okay? Yana, escuche. See? Yana, hablamos inglés. Well, look at the screen. These are funny guys. Hey, Yana, listen, you have to participate. Yana, Yana, you have to participate. You can't just sit there and chew gum. Holy Toledo. Her mouth must be just dying. Now she's picking her nose. Oh, now she's, oh my God, what is she doing? Is she picking her nose in her ears? Oh, Yana. Hello, Yana, say hello. She's picking her nose in her ears. So, Yana, 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 one second here, Yana. No, I know Yana, oh, Yana's sister's in there. They're both chewing gum. Maybe they share the same gum. So, um, okay. Maria! Hello, Maria. Hi, Brett. How are you? <laughs> Doing, well. Doing well. Yeah, so holy Toledo, guys. Holy Toledo is a good expression. I'm doing well. I was just, I was really enjoying uh, Yana chewing her gum. Gosh, that's crazy. It's like she's, oh, there she is. Hello, Yana. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Madre. <laughs> Hello. So, so uh, Yana, Madre, one second, okay? Listen to me for once. No, no, it's okay. I know you have beautiful hair. Oh, my gosh. Um, so one second. Listen to me. One moment, okay? You have two, yes. you have two yes. windows open, okay? You need to close the Verbling window. Keep the Google Plus Hangout window open. Keep the Google Plus Hangout window open. Close the Verbling window. The one that says verbling, nombre verbling, mala, okay? Uh, well, how, do you, how do you say exit in Spanish or close? Boy, I really need to learn some Spanish. Cierra la ventana, cierra la ventana que dice verbling. Close the window on, that says verbling. Cierra la ventana que dice verbling. Entienda. 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 Okay. Hello, Yana, say hello. Stop chewing gum. <laughs> They're both chewing gum. No, the voice is not. Yeah. I guess she, she hasn't config, uh, configured the microphone yet, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, just watch the both chew gum. It's crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just getting a kick out of this. This is funny. It's like chew, 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 chew. Let, let, let's see who's the fastest chewer. Yeah, who can chew faster? <laughs> Yana's got her beat. Hey guys, I really want to start this class. I'm uh, so Yana. Okay, okay. Okay. Yana. Oh no, you guys aren't doing anything wrong. I'm just there's only so much we can do with Yana. Let's let's see. They'll figure it out. Okay. So Yana, can you say hello? Okay. Yeah. So your microphone's not muted. You need to configure your microphone here. One second here. Just watch. Watch, okay? All right. Let me show you something here. Um, so yeah, guys, don't 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 mute them right now. They're new, okay? They don't mean any harm. All right. So Yana, Yana, watch, 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 okay? Go here, Yana, watch, okay? There's something something you need to do in here, okay? All right. You need to that. Okay, 
you might also have to fix it in the verbling as well. All right? Hey, everybody else, let's get um, let's get class started. Okay. Hello, everybody. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So yes, there Hello. are. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hello, Yana. Yeah. Yes, finally. Where Where are you two from? We are from Argentina. Argentina. Oh, Argentina, home of the world's best beef. Very good. Very yeah. good. So, okay, so Asado. good. Asado. Barbecue. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, Brazilian barbecue is the best. Colombian coffee is the best. And then Argentina has the, um, has the best beef. So, Yana, are you okay? I've never seen anybody chew gum that fast. Sorry, what? No, don't be sorry. I've never seen anyone chew gum so quickly. You guys, the gum you're chewing is so fast. Like, yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> so hey, we're going to get class started. We're reading a story. When you're not talking, make sure you click the mute again. Welcome to Verbling. Is this your first time on Verbling? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So you're going to be reading. You're the last person to read. Don't worry. As we read, what you'll be able to do is I'll teach you new vocabulary. You also want to look at some of the symbolism and everything in there in this story. How old are you, Yana? Or Yana? I I am 16. I'm oh, you're not, yeah, you're, you're not old enough to be on Verbling. Sorry. I'm uh, kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm 18. I'm 18. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. I'm gonna... 18. Anyway, I'm 21. You're 21? Oh, I am so sorry. I thought you were a mother at first. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're like, casting. So, what? <laughs> what? Cousin. No, I know, I know. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. So, hey, listen, Yana, you guys hang out, read the story okay. with everybody else, okay? And then you'll have a chance okay. to read, okay? But only only one person can read at a time, all right? Very I'm nice Jennifer. to meet. Um, and what are your names? I am Jennifer, and she's Shanina. Okay. Well, your name down below says Yania. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you change that, okay? But it's okay. I'm going to mute you for now. We're going to start the story, okay? Okay, guys. All right, good, good. <clears throat> Elaine, can you do me a favor? Can you start? Oh, let me, let me give you a background for this story. So with this story, there is a gentleman who is a salesman. He's what you call a traveling salesman. He has a very good career. He's making a lot of money, but like many salesmen, not like all, you know, uh, he's just gotten in a rut. What a rut means is you're doing the same thing again and again. There's no meaning to life. You're just kind of hanging out, going through the motions. He's, he discovers that money is not the most important thing. Now, that's not the central theme of this, though, So, but it might get to that. What has happened is he's been driving down a country road. He's out in the countryside. Okay, He's not in the big city. He runs across this petting zoo where they have spiders. He's already gone to the one part of the petting zoo, which is the normal part of the petting zoo, where they have glass uh, atriums, where they're holding all of these spiders, all these glass atriums and um, aquariums where they have them, okay? All right. Now what's happened is this old man has taken him over to this other section where it's really dark, not many people go there, and there's a spider in here. And where we last left off, He's in the dark, and he's feeling his way around. And the old man tells him to pull on the line because that line will light up the room, okay? So everybody stay quiet while the, um, while the person I designate reads. You'll all be able to read. Elaine, go ahead, pulling the line. Okay. Pulling the line, Jensen knew he had made a mistake. Something rustled in the rafters above him, and bits of straw floated down. Johnson bolted for the opening. Enjoy yourself, crackled the old man as he slammed the door and locked it. Let me out, let me out, shouted Johnson, pounding on the door. Let me out, you old bothered. But it was no use. The dried out wooden door was like iron, posing to catch his breath, his fists strobing, Johnson looked around. 
Slowly, his eyes grew accustomed to the dark. What appeared to be a black chasm was, in fact, the side entrance to the barn. There must be another way out, he thought. Excellent. Where? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And very good, um, you know, with the exclamations, very, uh, very strong with the way you put that. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so good. So rustled, something rustled, something's moving around. Okay, something's like scurrying around. So bolted. So oops, I forgot this one does that. So bolted. Bolted in this uh, means to move real quick. Okay, he bolted for it. You know, like a lightning bolt. When you have a lightning bolt, that's where you get the word bolted. You move real quick. Okay, cackled. <clears throat> so when you say this, enjoy yourself, <laughs> like that, you cackle, you cackle, you have that weird sort of sound, this is that old man he's talking about, okay, so just pounding, you know, he's pounding on it, this is good, you old buzzard, so a buzzard, all right, is a really nasty bird, a buzzard is a scavenger, all right, they're the ones that fly around when, um, when things are dead. Okay. All right. Um, pausing. So throbbing. Throbbing is like that sensation. If you've ever hit your leg, you've ever knocked your leg into something and it hey, has what you? Really... Hey, silencio. <laughs> okay. So, um, but yeah. So, okay. So grew accustomed to the dark. When you grow accustomed to something, you get used to it, all right? You adapt to it. So his eyes slowly grew accustomed to the dark. Okay. Okay, black chasm. Okay, so a chasm, let's see in here. Give me a good definition of chasm. So it's like an empty, a yawning, a breach, okay, that they have in here. So black chasm, okay? Hey, but, but seriously, so guys, it's okay. Just stay muted when you're not um, when you're not speaking, okay? All right, it's okay. No worries, okay? It's okay. Just keep chewing your gum and, and read the story with us, okay? No problem, all right? I'm sorry. It was... It's okay. No problem. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. Good, really good. This is starting off to be a great class. Good. Oh, perfect. Okay, Dimitri. Go ahead, Dimitri. Hi. <laughs> this is not Dimitri. This is Dimitri's wife. Uh, can I participate? Yeah, you know what? You have such a beautiful baby. You guys look like such a great family. Wow, thank you, know? you. Yeah, no, no. I mean, you guys, you guys really are very, very happy for you. Seems like a very <laughs> nice family. You're both learning English together, too, which is good. Yeah, good. yeah you can. Have yeah, good. Very good. And, and you all are from, are you from Turkey? Is that right? Did I get that right? No. Oh, I'm no, sorry. We are from Israel. Israel. Okay, I am so sorry. There's so many students. And, you know, I, I have the brain the size of a pea. You know, like dinosaurs? You know how their brain in relationship to their body? Yeah. Yep, so, okay, well, good. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry I keep cutting you off. But good, though, good. And, yeah, you can participate anytime. Go ahead. In the gloom. Okay, so um, I will read the, the following paragraph. Yeah, in the gloom, he could see, and just read what you see on the screen. Okay, in the gloom, he could see that beyond the entryway, there was a large open space, and beyond that, a boarded up window through which thin shafts of sunlight streamed. Great, all I have to do is cross the barn, pull off one or two of those boards, and climb out, thought Johnson. Then I'll show that, that old man 50 bucks. He'll wish I had never stopped. And should I continue? Oh yes, my yes, pl yes, please do. I'm sorry, I mute myself too um, when I'm not speaking. So, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. Then he heard another rustle overhead and more straw floated down. Who is it? Who's there? He called out. I'll bet it's that old man, thought Johnson. He thinks he's going to scare me. Sure, you just keep that up, old man. Johnson called out again. 
Let's see how much laughing you do when I bash your face in. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I, I, I really, I, re I really love the way you said bash your face in. <laughs> Boy, wow, this you, is the first time I hear that expression. I don't know what it means. Oh, I'll tell, I'll, t I'll tell you what it means. I tell you, both of you starting off are doing a very good job. It's like near native speakers. Um, actually, your your pronunciations and everything are really good. Um, wow. Wow, I'm glad to hear it from you. Yeah, no, wow. you're 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 welcome. You're welcome. So thin shafts. Let's see if we can get a good picture. Thin shafts. Um, wow, this is going to be difficult to get. Okay, so yeah, here, good, fantastic. So these are like thin shafts of light. You know when you have clouds, and you know how there's like almost like pipes of light that come out. These are thin shafts. Okay, it's the best way to describe that. Okay, so thin shafts of light. So there's a little bit of light that's just coming through there. It's just streaming through so he can, he can see just a little bit. Uh, and he's thinking here, okay. So, yeah, he had paid the guy 50 bucks, all right? So paying $50 to see a spider petting zoo is what you would call a real ripoff, Okay. So you get ripped off, meaning you paid way too much. Okay. So again, Russell. All right. So straw, in case you that all don't know. So straw, you have straw when you have hay. Okay. So this is straw. So in a barn, remember he's in a barn. Okay. Let's do old barn because he's in an old barn. Okay, so he's in this old barn like this. Really scary stuff, right? And all this straw keeps floating down. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> bash your face in. So um, bash your face in, that's something that us Americans tell each other when we're about ready to get in a fight. It means to really punch them hard, to just smash your face and bash your face in, okay? So it's not a, um, not a good thing to say. Okay. Okay. So good. 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 All right. Juan, go ahead, Juan. But first, Curry says, "But first, I got to get to that window. Be careful." He cautioned himself. This barn must be full of junk. Don't want to fall down and get hurt. Despite the heat in the barn, he shivered licking the sweet off his upper lip. Johnson slowly picked his way across the white wooden plank barn floor. Being careful not to trip, shadows of all machinery and tools loom around him. A leather harness that hung from the wall looked like a hangsman noose. There was a peculiar smell, too. It reminded him of a package of chicken that he once left in the trunk of his car on a hot summer day. It was the sickly sweet sense of rotting meat. Oh, gross, muttered Johnson. There is a dead animal in here. In See? less than a minute, he had closed the bar. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I was pulling okay. it up for you. Okay, thanks. In less than a minute, he had crossed the barn and was standing in front of the border up window, blocking his exit where three boards nail have parcel well how do you pronounce that word? Uh, hap, hap, haphazardly. Haphazardly. Haphazard haphazardly into the frame. Thanks. Okay, good, good, good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so good. So yeah, he cautioned himself, all right? So, you know, cautioned means to be careful. So you, you can maybe caution your child, right? You can caution somebody else. He cautioned himself to make sure that nothing bad happened. Okay. Um, okay, loomed around him, all right? So... Uh, there, it's all around him, but if something looms around you, it's it's almost like in a in a scary way. Again, he's just using more more colorful words in here. He's trying to put you, the reader, in the scenario where everything's really bad, really bad. Loom is almost like doom. Okay, 
All right. So here, this paragraph is excellent. Okay. If you decide to become a writer someday, all right, uh, you need to make sure that the audience can relate to what you're writing about. So a peculiar. So peculiar is a strange smell. Okay. What he's doing now is you as the reader, we all know what chicken is. So rotting chicken, if you think about, like he said, he once left in the car, in his trunk car on a hot summer day. It was a sickly sweet scent of rotting meat. Now rotting meat, yeah, it's a, it's a nasty smell. I don't know if you all ever, well, I think everybody at one point might have um, smelled rotting meat, unfortunately. You know, like if you check the food and maybe it's bad. But, you know, it, it does. It has a sweet scent, okay? It kind of has a sweet scent because it starts to break down the sweet scent of rotting meat. It doesn't mean it's good because he adds sickly, but it has like that little sugar um, uh, smell to it, okay? That's so a good water. question is what we had before. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go up slightly. Uh-huh. Uh, um... Oh, yeah. His way across the white wooden plank barn floor. What okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, so wooden plank. By the way, if you ever have any questions, please, please. So what it is, you have planks that go across the floor, okay? So these are the wooden planks, okay? Oh, okay. Have, have, you ever seen it, have you ever seen in horror movies, like where people are walking across these planks, and all of a sudden <laughs> they crash through one? <laughs> Okay. So is it just surface or all over the place? Well, yeah. So, so if we look back at the um, at the old barn, so there's wooden planks that are not only on the floor. Okay, uh -huh. but these are wooden planks. Okay, that are outside here as well. Okay, so nailed. Yeah, what nailed is? Um, you have a nail. All right. Okay, this is a nail. So nail. <laughs> Here, <laughs> not these nails. Um, so this is a nail, all right. So just nailed. What it means, like you know, um, you know, uh, that's what you use when you have a board. You nail a board, all right. You nail a picture to the wall, okay. What right. is? Yep. Okay. So you, uh huh. Okay. Teacher, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, you you were saying uh, at the beginning that if if by any chance you become a writer, uh, a, a writer, uh, you said relate. Uh, yeah. What is the correct spelling or, or meaning relate? Oh yeah. So relate. Relate. Okay. So if you have a friend and his girlfriend leaves him, okay. If you've ever had a girlfriend that leaves you or that has left you, you can relate to him. You can relate to his situation. Uh, so okay. in order to let the reader relate or understand the situation, you need to use words and things that are familiar with them or familiar to them. Okay? So for instance, yeah. if, if, he, if he would have been here, if he would have started talking about, like, you know, um, dead rotting meat of a lion that he shot in Africa, you're not going to relate to that because how many of us have shot a uh, lion in Africa? But we all know what yeah. like rotting chicken. We know at least what chicken is. We can start to imagine um, what that's like. Okay, and gross. I got it, teacher. Yep, Thanks. you're welcome. And Lorena, yes, gross is a disgusting thing. Like, ugh, gross. You want me to do what? Okay, so here we go. All right, so let's continue on here. Uh, Kubra, good Kubra. Yeah. Uh, a oh, gross. gross. Mm -hmm. Okay, gross. Uh, might read Johnson. There is dead. Uh, there is a dead animal in here. In less than a minute, uh, he had crossed uh, the barn, barn, and was standing in front of the boarded uh, up window. Blocking his exit uh, were there three birds nailed hap haphazardly uh, into the prime. Either the old man was too weak or too lazy to, uh, to drive them all the uh, way in, uh, concluded uh, Johnson. I can probably pull them off with my bare hands. He smiled, 
Triumphant. Triumphantly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read these next two. Triumphantly. The first bird was half uh, rotted and fe uh, fell apart in his hands. Light streamed in as it came uh, away uh, from the frame. frame. Then he sh uh, shif shift his uh, attention to the second one, the bird in the middle. In the middle, uh, uh, if he could could get this one off. He could easily climb out, but this bird wouldn't be so easy. It was like the old door of the barn, died uh, out, and as the thought uh, as still. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's go through some of this. I'm sorry, I had you reread some some of this. So, okay, so. Yeah, what he's saying in here with either the old man was too weak or too lazy, so the nails, he didn't drive them all the way in. When you have a nail, you drive it. You're nailing it, but you say you drive it into the wall. Okay, you drive it into the wood. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And flimsy, so flimsy is something that's not strong, okay? Something that's not strong, something that can break easily, okay? Okay. Right. To nail it also mean uh, to success. Uh, it's right. Is it right? Uh, flimsy won't won't have to do with uh, success. No. Um, flimsy. No, to nail. It's mean to nail something. Uh, oh, like to same. nail something. Well, yeah. We have we have ex we have an expression in the United States like nailed it. Like he nailed it. So gym in in gymnastics. If you're ever watching gymnastics and somebody does a floor routine and they get a perfect ten. You could say, "Wow, they really nailed it." Okay. Also, too, in business, you know, uh, let's say that your buddy Johnny closed a big deal. Hey, Johnny, you really nailed it. Okay. So yeah, we use we use that when you do something that's really good. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I have a question. Okay. What mean uh, haphazardly? Oh, ha yeah, haphazardly. That's when you do, yeah, yeah. So that's when you do something and it's not done all the way. It's done, boy, I want to I say, yeah, um, <laughs> you'll hear people say this, okay, half-ass, all right, which means that they just don't do it all the way. It's half -ha haphazardly, all right. It's just done with um, poor attention to it, not done okay. properly. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Some people live their lives haphazardly. So half rotted, so these are just two words. So rotted, decay, half rotted, so it's not fully decayed, not fully rotted. Uh, okay. uh, sorry, mm -hmm. haphazardly or haphazardly? Um, let's, see. let's see if it gives us two different ways to say this. I always pronounce it haphazardly. Haphazardly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oi, oi, okay. oi. Haphazard. Yep. yep. So, yeah, you don't have the L-Y. That's why you don't have it on there. So. Haphazardly. Haphazardly. Mm -hmm. Haphazardly. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Hap haphazardly. There you go. You missed that earlier. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see in here. So, okay. Yeah, this is great. So, this is real. These are really good words. Okay. So, smiled triumphantly. All right. So, triumphantly. That's when you have a victory. Okay. You know, we won triumphantly. So he's sitting here going, "Okay, I can get out of here. I've almost got it." He's got a smile on his face. There's something positive coming out of this. All right. Okay, and again, just, you know, he's making sure that he describes to you what's happening. This board wasn't would be so easy. So the rest are easy. He's getting really happy. Okay, this one here, um, it was like the old barn door dried out and as tough as steel. So now, instead of having ones that aren't nailed in properly because the old man is lazy, Instead of having ones that are put together haphazardly, now he has one that's dried out and tough as steel. So now there's no more moisture in the wood, and it's really tight. Okay. 
Okay, all right, so good. Okay, Lorena. Yes, um, gripping the board with both hands, he began pulling. The nails squealed in protest and the board started to move. Only a little bit further, grunted Johnson. The thought of throwing the old man excited him. Yes, a bit further, another half inch. He could almost feel his finger closing around the old man's scrubbing, scrubbing neck. The eyes mm, bulging, the tongue sticking out. Another half inch. Then it stopped. It, um, it stopped. Uh, desperately, Johnson yanked at the board, but it was no use. It would not yield. I need more leverage, he said to himself. Balancing on one foot, he braced this, his other against the window, the window frame and started pulling again. The muscle in his forearms and back bulged as he strained against the board. Sweat rolled down his forehead and into his eye. Come on, he pleaded with the wood. Come on. Okay, good, good, good. I want to know just one thing. You, yeah, no, no, it's okay, um, Marina. No problem. I want to note one thing, and I'm not being critical. I'm trying to help you, okay? Make yeah. sure make sure that you're pronouncing plurals, okay? If you go back and watch the class, and it's okay, Lorena. Remember, I'm a teacher, so I'm here to help you, okay? So yeah. you miss your plurals sometimes, okay? So make sure that you're saying eyes, make sure you're saying forearms, make sure you're saying fingers. I forgot which ones you missed, but it's okay. In general, it's good. It's good though, okay? And, and by the way, everybody, I give these ED classes. I'm just going to keep repeating these so that it helps you that when you have uh, verbs that are regular verbs and you have an ED sound, feel free to attend any of these classes that I give. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to give one even though it's repetitive, I don't know, maybe one a week, just because it seems like something that everybody or that most people want to uh, attend. But good, though, good, good. Just remember your plurals, okay? And I'm not correcting everybody's grammar, okay? And don't be upset if I don't. Don't be upset if I do. Okay, so this is, this is great. The nails squealed in protest, all right? So for those of, those of you guys that have ever built, you know, anything, and you've ever had to take a nail out. Uh, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna. The, the sound might not be perfect, okay? But when you take a nail out of the wood, it kind of makes this sound, you know, like this little squeal sound as the metal squeaks out of the wood. So this is great. The nail squealed in protest. We all know what protest is. If you don't like something, then you go out, you take your picket sign, you protest against it. So these nails are saying, "Please don't pull me out of this board." Again, just really good color this guy's putting into this. Okay, only a little bit further grunted, so when you grunt, you're like, urgh, urgh, you know, just grunting through this. Okay, and here's where he gets back. Remember, he wants to bash the old guy's face, all right? I'm not, I'm not much for violence. I'm not advocating violence or anything like that. But let's just look at this. So this goes back to it. The thought of throttling the old man, okay? So when you throttle something on a car, on a motorcycle, different things like that, you have your throttle. There you go. So you have your throttle. Oops, shoot. Why did they come up with I'm sorry, I don't know why they come up with some of this stuff. I have no idea how that equates to throttle. I am so I am so sorry, everybody. I, you know, oh my gosh, we have a minor in here too. I am so sorry, <laughs> but yes, the throttle. <laughs> Told you it's 18. So yeah, so this is your throttle, okay? So what he's doing in here is he's talking here about throttling the old man. So he's talking about just beating him. You know, throttle is when you just churn up the power. All right, so he could feel his fingers closing around the old man's scrawny neck. So I'm not even going to search for grabbing somebody by their neck. So he's just thinking about putting his hands, both his hands right around his neck and squeezing him with his eyes bulging. So bulging out, boom, you know, just coming right out of their sockets and the tongue sticking out. Um, yeah, anyway, folks, I, I know I'm not advocating violence. I'm just saying this author is so colorful, so colorful.
Okay? So again, he yanked at the board, but it was no use. It would not yield. It would not give in. All right? So leverage, when you have leverage, um, let's show you this here, leverage. Let's see if it has something here. Yeah, so this is a lever. So this is when you have leverage, okay, to bring something up. Okay, so that's leverage when you have that. So he needs more leverage. So this is why he's changing his position, all right? So he could brace his foot against the window frame and start to pull again. Okay, so bulge, all right? So bulge, this is, you know, when you make a muscle, you know, your muscle bulges, if you have any. Um, okay, and sweat rolled down his forehead into his eyes. So look at this, he's so desperate. Is he actually pleading with the wood? You know, is he saying, please, wood, please help me out, right? But he's, you know, mentally he's pleading with the wood. Okay, so good, good, good. Let's see here. Okay, all right. Furkan, go ahead, Furkan. In his frustration, Johnson did not hear the soft tap, tap, tap on the floor behind him. Tap, 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 like a blind man with his cane. Tap, tap, tap. Then it was too late. It struck. The force of the attack rammed his him face, first up against the wall, knocking the wind out of him. Warm blood trickled from his nose and ran down his cheek. What was that? Turning around slowly, he could see, in the light from the window, his attacker. It was crouched inside an empty stall along the opposite wall. The legs tensed ready to spring. It was a spider, no doubt, one of the old man's experiments. But this was no ordinary spider. It was huge, about the size of a pit bull with legs that extended out three or four feet on either side. Its eyes stared coldly at him. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So blind old man, or blind man with his cane. Okay. Right, it's, it's, you know, it's just colorful things. No, nobody likes to, you know, see somebody blind or anything like that. That's not the point. He's just talking about how somebody taps around with their cane when they're trying to get around, trying to feel their way. Okay? All right? So rammed. So when you're rammed or you slammed against something, okay? So you have a car. This car rams into this car. Wow, boy. Okay? So this spider, boom, rams right into him. Okay? Um, Are they right. using that when it's special force or something like SWAT rams the door? Yep, they ram open the door. Mm -hmm. They have like a, a, a big metal tube that's solid, and they ram open the door. Okay. Warm blood trickled from his nose and ran down his cheek. Now again, just very, very colorful, okay? Now he's like, um, for those of you that ever play sports, you know, or any contact sport, uh, sometimes when you first get hit, you're like, boom, and then you turn around, what was that? You know, who, who hit me? Who's running after me? So you have that initial first reaction. Uh, if you've ever been hit in a car, same type of thing as well. So here we go. His attacker, the person that rammed him, Okay. Okay. So yeah, the old man again. He has these other spiders. So this is one of his experiments. Huge. So pit bull. Okay. So a pit bull. Let's um. I hope everything comes up good here. I hope there's nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah. So pit bull. So these are these are a pit bull. Okay. So these are really big, really mean. Well, they can be nice dogs, I guess, if you take care of them properly. Okay. Steered coldly. Okay. Coldly. So what this is, it's how it, it's a, just a really, like, um, deafening stare that he has there. Right. Okay. All right, Maria. Go ahead, Maria. All right. Johnson did a quick tally of his injuries. Except for his bloody nose, he was unharmed. 
Perhaps the large size of the creature made it difficult for it to mount an attack, he conjectured. Possibly it did not even recognize him as prey. The spiders normally eat moths and insects, he reminded himself, not human beings. When he was a kid, a kid Johnson liked to throw things into a web just to see the spider's reaction. Variably, after posing of the objects, the spider would pluck it out of the web, turn it into over and drop it on the ground. Johnson thought this spider would show the same lack of interest. From its vantage point on the other of the the creature seems puzzled. Unsure of his, itself, a spiders are cautious, he told himself. He's waiting for me to make the nest move, although every fiber in his body screamed, screamed around, his brain told him to stay still. The spider was too big and too fast to out around. Okay, so good, good, good. All right. Okay, so here, okay. So tally, tally, all right. So you tally up results. Tally is calculating things, all right? So what he's doing is he's tallying up all of his injuries. He's seeing where exactly he's hurt, okay? Except for his bloody nose, he was unharmed. So he just got, again, he got rammed, okay? And boom, he has the blood that's running down his face, all right? He conjectured, so conjectured. So this is when you come to, like, a conclusion, when you think about something, okay? He was trying to figure out, so he figured out it was too difficult to mount an attack. All right? And recognize him as prey. So what prey is you have a predator. All right? So like a lion is a predator. Okay? So that's a predator. And whatever it attacks is its prey. Okay? Just like for some of us, our prey is McDonald's. Okay? And then, all right? So in here... So he has a kid, he would throw twigs into a web just to see the spider's reaction. So you know a spider web? When you throw things into a spider web, uh, they will, they'll move towards it because they think it's a fly. So as soon as you toss something into the web, it bounces and then they'll move towards it. Okay. All right. Okay. So invariably... What is moth? Oh, moth, yeah, yeah, so good. So here's a moth. Okay. All right. There's a good expression, like moths to the flame. All right. And what that means are moths, they're naturally drawn to light. Okay. And when they go to the flame, psh, they die. They just don't know any better. So sometimes human beings... Are, uh, are like that. Okay, they're like moths drawn to the uh, drawn to the fire. Okay, yeah, let's is see. it like the night butterflies? Uh, yeah, butterflies when they're when they're drawn to the light. You know, most of them are. But the expression like moths to the flame is a negative one because it's saying you know human beings are sometimes drawn to things that aren't good for them. Okay. And I, I probably should have shared it. Not, not everybody uses that expression. Um, it's not really common. It's one of my favorite ones just because I see us human beings, we do that. We're drawn towards things that, yeah, like seem shiny and good that are actually bad for us. So that's just my bias. Okay? So invariably, right? By the way, sometimes I just admittedly, I have a hard time explaining some words. Even though I know it, I use it. So invariably, so yeah, so something um, that, you know, is a constant, okay? You know, it's not going to change. So what he's saying in here, invariably, that for sure, you know, it's going to come after him, invariably. So that's its next action, all right? After pouncing, so when you pounce, a lion can pounce on something, okay? So lion, here you go. Pouncing, it pounces on its prey. Okay. Um, okay. So here. Okay. Okay. Vantage point. So what a vantage point is? Uh, you know, like a sniper. You know, gets to a vantage point. 
a vantage point is somewhere where you can see something. You're up above something, so you have a good view. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is good. Although every fiber in his body screamed to run. So this is very good. It's very colorful. So every little fiber. So we know that fibers, you see it in fabric, right? Okay, so you have little fibers, all right? Every little fiber. So every part of his body told him to run, okay? But he knew that he had to stay because the spider would be too fast. Okay, so let's continue here. Orlando. Go ahead, Orlando. I need a weapon. I need, uh, I need a we weapon. Oh, Orlando, can you, can you turn up your microphone a little bit, please? Okay, now? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I need a weapon, he told himself, quickly looking about. He saw uh, the rotten board from the window lying in his feet. It was about two feet long with a jake point at the one end. It, it, uh, it will have to do. Uh, slowly, he bent down to pick it up. The spider uh, church now, like a, sp a sprinter, re uh, ready to uh, strike again. Johnson froze, his fingers only inches from the uh, from his bird. Easy, uh, easy girl, he uh, whispered softly. Easy. Oh. Uh, the spider relaxed, but not compl uh, completely. Deliberately. It began to move forward. Tap, tap, tap. Johnson was ama amazed by uh, the creature's grace. Like a ballerina tip uh, toying in from the darkness, wings of the theater. It was a marvel of built, uh, beauty and design. The body, covered by fine gray hair, had the look of velvet. While the eight legs uh, that extended from the thorax provide sp speed and balance. Okay, good, 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 oh, very good. Very fast. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, um, and this one is crouched. You've probably never seen it crouched. <laughs> crouched. Okay, so um, he need a weapon. Okay, so he's going to grab this board, and it has a jagged point at the end. All right, so the board's probably broken a little bit. It has a jagged, so here, let me just show you jagged. It's like a jagged, well, jagged board shorts. So this is jagged, actually. That's like a jagged edge in there. Okay, let's see here. So then the spider crouched low like a sprinter, okay? So when you have a sprinter, when they're ready to go, so a sprinter in their starting position. Okay. So here you go, right like this. You know, when a sprinter's ready to go. So this spider's like that right now. Okay. Easy, girl. So yeah, this is great. So, you know, <laughs> if, you, if, you have, if you have like a horse... You know, I don't know if you've ever ridden horses, but you know when you first come up to a horse, you know, sometimes a horse is a little, you know, moves around a little bit, so you're telling, easy, girl, easy, you know? So, so the spider relaxed, so it was listening to him somehow, all right, but not completely. So deliberately, on purpose, okay, deliberately, on purpose, it began to move forward, okay? Yeah, so this is good, you know? Like a ballerina tiptoeing. Wow, this author really does a great job. Okay, so ballerina when they're tiptoeing, very graceful. Okay, all right. Yeah, and from the darkened wings of a theater, marvel. So it's something that's amazing, you know? Marvel, marvelous. Beauty and design. Okay, there we go. Yeah, as well. It's Velvet, oh yeah, so velvet is a type of fabric that is very soft, okay? 
All right, so very soft. OK. All right. OK, here we go. All right. Sister and cousin, are you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Donut, are you, you can't, you can't uh, read and chew gum. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's OK. OK, thanks for showing us. TMI. Go ahead. As it approached, Shanson, the spider carefully extended one for leg towards to towards him. Johnson quickly knocked it away with his hand. The creature stopped and cooked its plate sized head to one side. The eight eyes looked like black fists. Then the leg came forward again. At the tip, Johnson could see the spike like claw for cut for catching prey. It touched his left shoulder. Through his jacket, he could feel the sharp point digging into his skin. Johnson winced and stepped backwards into the wall, but there was no place to go. Slowly, the other four legs came forward. Johnson recalled trying to ward off the attack with his free arm, but the creature was too strong. It brushed his arm aside as if it was a piece of lint and plant a second claw into his other shoulder. Johnson cried out, help, help. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see here one second. Yeah, hmm. Okay, so let me ask you all something. There's four minutes left, okay? There's only four minutes left to class. Is there anybody that wants me to extend the class so we can finish the story? Yes. Okay. And anybody else? I'll tell you what, I'll extend it, those of you that want to stay. It's just otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to end up with a story next week that just isn't fully complete, okay? So those of you don't feel obligated to stay, but those of you that want to stay will continue reading this, okay? All right? So, um... Yeah, and I don't. Yeah, I don't have another class coming up ahead. Okay, so, all right. So extended one four legs. So this first one towards he, towards him. Okay, knocked it away with his hand. Ah, boy, cocked. Cocked is such a great word. I'm just trying to um, trying to trying to get you a good visual. It's like you, yeah, there you go. Great. So when you cock your head. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> That's so cute. My little dog does that same thing. Sometimes when I'm doing weird things, talking to it, it'll cock its head at me like, what? Okay, so it cocked its plate-sized head to one side. Wow. The eyes look like black fists. So you know a spider's eyes, how they look? Okay. All right, and let's see in here. Yep, so digging, you know, just like a shovel. Okay, so it's digging into his skin. So winced. There's going to be great pictures here for winced. So, ugh. So, like, he winces here. Yes, here's somebody who winces, you know, <laughs> when you get a shot. Okay, oh, this one's even better. That's a nice little wince. Okay, so Johnson winced. Ugh. Boy, he's got this spider into him. Okay. So recoiled. Okay. So that's to like move back. So you have a coil. Let me just show you. Here. Especially with guns. Yep. Okay. So you have a coil. So yeah, and guns will recoil. Boom. You know, when you shoot a gun, it pushes back at you as well. Okay. So ward off. So fend off to try to push away. Okay. All right, so here we go. So um, I don't know if everybody's going to get a chance to read again. Let's just go through here. Uh, Elaine, uh, Alan, um, yeah, just yeah. Read, read this section here so we split it out properly. Then the spider reared up. Okay. Then the spider reared up on its hind legs, forcing Johnson to his knees. For a brief moment, he and the creature looked into each other's eyes. It was almost like love. 
Then he saw the six-inch fang that extended from the head. Drops of venom gloomed in the half-light. He watched in fascination on, as the cruel daggers harshed high over him. Then he screamed as they plugged deeply into his chest. Instantly, white hot pain uh, ripped through his body. Okay, then, go ahead, read the next what, part. Okay. Then, it was, then gone. it was gone. The spider had retreated back to the stair. Johnson knew that he only had a minute or two before the poison paralyzed him. Okay, good, good, good. So, wow, this is really colorful. Let me help you with one word. Plunged. Plunged. Okay. Plunged. In there. Okay, so reared up. So that, again, it's, all, it's like the sprinter, you know. It just rears up on its legs, forcing him to his knees. Um, so the, isn't it, <laughs> this is really funny. It was almost like love. I mean, out of all of this, you know, he comes up with this thing. It was almost like love, you know, like, just the way they looked in each other's eyes as this, as this thing's trying to kill him, you know. So drops of venom gleamed in the half light. So gleam, like to give off a um, give off a light here, okay? Like gleam, okay? The cruel daggers, okay, arched high over him. So a dagger is a knife. So he's just talking about his fangs, these cruel daggers arch, you know, like to um, like to go in like a, a semicircle, right? To arch over him, okay? All right, instantly the hot white pain. Okay, then it was gone. Wow, I thought more people were going to stay. That's okay. Let's go, Furcon. Me, okay. it's, it's Orlando and you. You guys are the last two standing. Perfect. Yeah, but this is a great story, isn't it? I, I, I think, I, anyway, go, go ahead, Furcon. This is it, he said to himself, my only chance. Ignoring his wounds, Johnson turned back to the window. Grabbing at the board, he yanked and pulled to no avail. Already the venom was having its effect. His hands were numb and his arms felt like lead. Gasping for air, he threw himself at the boards again and again, but it was no use. He was beaten. Great sobs shook his body as he slumped to the floor. This can't be happening to me, he protested. It's ridiculous. Looking back at the spider, he could see that it still had not moved. What is she waiting for? He wondered. Why doesn't she finish me off? He soon had his answer. Shimmering like a great overcoat, there was something on the spider's back. It moved and undulated like a small wave flowing back and forth. Then a piece of the piece of the wave pulled away and dropped to the floor. It was another spider, only a lot smaller about the size of a rat. Johnson recalled that some spiders carry their young on their back, backs. Horrified, he realized that he had stumbled into their nursery and it was feeding time. Another one dropped to the floor and then another. Soon there was a long line of spiders slowly crawling towards him. Through fading eyesight, he saw the first one reach his foot. Tentatively, its foreleg propped the air until it found his leg and patted it. It was light and delicate like the touch of a child. Johnson opened his mouth to scream, but no sound came. The last thing Johnson saw before he lost consciousness was a spider tearing a piece of flesh from the back of his hand. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. It's a great story. Let's, uh, let's get, so, so yeah, just lots of color here. So you know what's going on here. You know, now the mom spider has all these little baby spiders. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Go go ahead, Orlando. Okay. Back at the farmhouse, the old man picked up the whiskey bottles of the uh, kitchen table, table, poured himself another drink, and pulled uh, it down on the ancient, lazy boy recliner. How long it take take? Asked, uh, asked the old woman. Not long, he wrote it. They ain't, ain't uh, sorry, sorry. 
they end uh, eight. Eight. No, it's okay. Huh? Yep. The, it, what, it, what this is, he's a redneck, so they ain't eight since Sunday. Okay. They ain't eight since Sunday. Get a better thing. Uh, attract more folks. Nah, the things, okay. Anyway, we don't need a crowd. Say the old man, talking along her, sorry, uh, swole, uh, taking. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, good. What year uh, going to do with his car? She asked. Uh, standing at the window, admiring the now earnest Lexus. I hear you, uh, Doug, Doug, uh, what mean? Doug? Dougal? Yeah, it's just Dougal, just a name. I hear young Dougal. Dougal needs one for running. Monshine. Will to pay a good price to, say the old man. Won't he ask question? Uh, won't, he, won't he ask question? Question? One dare it the old woman pouring a drink and easing herself down onto a dusty couch. Nah, he don't care. Snickered uh, the old man. I will tell uh, to him tomorrow. Meanwhile, pass the remote. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what's on their their fill. Dr. Phil, yes, yeah. so Dr. Phil's this, <laughs> Dr. Phil's just this crazy show. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, boy, I can't believe everybody <laughs> left. So this is Dr. Phil. You know, this is a, this is a, this is a great story. You know, um, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't write it, okay, but it's just really colorful. So again, these are the same old people when you know he came up. You know, this, this really cool businessman. Let me see the spiders. The guy rips them off, fifty dollars. You know, so why'd the guy do that? Why'd the old man do that? The old man even was, was just playing with them from the beginning, you know, making him pay fifty dollars to see some spiders. But all he's gonna do is take him in there to let him die. So anyway, good good story. It's a good story. I